In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front forward lower control arm on this BMW 328i. This is going to be located behind the front wheels. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the wheel, use a 17 millimeter socket, take these lug bolts out. And before you take the last one out, I'm just going to hold the wheel. Take that out, then grab the wheel and pull it off. We're gonna remove this shield, use an eight millimeter socket, take these bolts out. And the last one. Grab the shield, slide it back, and pull it down. Now loosen up this nut. I'm just gonna use a little rust penetrant. Lubricate that using a 21 millimeter socket. Take this nut off. And there may be a point where the stud is just spinning. To prevent that stud from spinning, I'm gonna use some large pliers and just squeeze this as hard as you can and take that nut off. comes off. And if that didn't work, you can use a T40 socket and put that in the stud and then use a 21 millimeter wrench and loosen that up. It's going to help if you have a ratchet wrench, make it a little easier. Take that nut off. Then you want to separate that ball joint from the knuckle. You can give it a tap with a hammer or it might even be as loose to just push it up like this one. And if it's really stuck on there, you can use some front end tools like this and just push it out, separate that from the knuckle. And up here, we're gonna loosen this bolt up. Use a 18 millimeter socket. Pull that out. You can grab the arm, pull it down, and it comes right out. Take the new arm, get this in position. that in place. You want to take a new bolt, just use a pry bar, pry this in place, get that started, and line up the ball joint over here, make sure that's in place, all right, have that go through there, and get the bolt started. Pry this out a little bit, get that bolt lined up. Just give it a little tap. Let's snug this up by hand first. You don't want to tighten this all the way down. Just get it almost snug because we need to tighten it down and torque this while the arm is as close to ride height as possible. So we'll put the ball joint nut on first. Now put the nut on. Snug that down. If it starts spinning, we will use those large pliers. Prevent it from spinning. and torque this nut to 129 foot-pounds. Sometimes that just moves to prevent this from turning. I'm just gonna use a pry bar. Just go in between the ball joint right there. There we go, 129 foot-pounds. Now using a pull jack, I'm gonna raise up on the lower suspension. Just be careful and just get it as close to ride height as possible, still being safe. Snug that down. We're gonna to torque this to 50 foot-pounds and then an additional 90 degrees. Now 
at 50 and then 90 degrees. If you don't have a torque angle meter, do the best you can. Now you can lower this down, then out of the way. Get some of those started. some of these in. Once you get those all started, just go back, snug those all down. And put the wheel on, get that lined up, put the lug stud in, snug that down. Snug those down. Now I'm going to torque the lug bolts to 80 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. After finishing this installation, it's important to have an alignment done on your vehicle. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.